derivative of y is equal to a x plus b all to the power of n multiplied by c x plus d all to the power of m with respect to x. Okay, how to solve this problem? Just if you observe this problem, it is the product of two functions. They are a x plus b all to the power of n multiplied by c x plus d all to the power of m. That means, here also u v rule has to be applied, but before u v rule we should know the derivative of a x plus b all to the power of n and c x plus d all to the power of m. So, let us have a discussion how to evaluate those derivatives first. So, as to find out the derivative of a x plus b all to the power of n, we have to recall the formula d by d x of u to the power of n that is n into u power n minus 1 and du by d x. It will be applicable for the even for to find out the derivative of c x plus d all to the power of m also. So, if you know the formula of u to the power of n and u v rule this problem easily we can solve. Okay. Let us solve this problem now. Given y equals to a x plus b all to the power of n multiplied by c x plus d all to the power of m. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. Okay. We get d y by d x equal to d by d x of a x plus b all to the power of n c x plus d all to the power of n. First we have to apply u v rule. So, d by d x of u v this is nothing but u d v by d x plus v d u by d x. Okay, now, let us solve it. This equal to a x plus b all to the power of n, am I correct? Into d by d x of c x plus d all to the power of m plus c x plus d all to the power of m into d by d x of a x plus b all to the power of n. Now, this can be written a x plus b all to the power of n. The derivative of c x plus d all to the power of m is u to the power of m. What is the derivative of u to the power of m? m into u power m minus 1 into d u by d x. So, this can be written m times c x plus d all to the power of m minus 1. The derivative of c x plus d is c into c plus c x plus d all to the power of m. In the similar manner, the derivative of a x plus b all to the power of n is also actually is being determined. So, that means n times a x plus b all to the power of n minus 1 multiplied by derivative of a x plus b is a. So, it can be rearranged c m a x plus b all to the power of n c x plus d all to the power of m minus 1 plus a n a x plus b all to the power of n minus 1 into c x plus d all to the power of m. 
even if you are interested further you can take out the common also but no problem have to this step you can keep up so better actually subscribe to our youtube channel sakal vidya you will be getting more videos on not only derivatives from different chapters you will be getting so this chapter is particularly very very important for all sort of board examinations such as such as engineering entrance examinations or engineering mathematics or diploma mathematics or all board examinations 10 plus 1 10 plus 2 board examinations of our state our country okay let us solve next problem given f of x is equal to x into e power x into sin x so we have to find out f dash x that means derivative of f of x with respect to x we have to find out so differentiate both sides with respect to x so now f dash x is equal to d by dx of x into e power x into sin x you see in this case product of the three functions is there the whenever if we encounter with the product of the two functions easily we can differentiate using uv rule but now in this case what do we have you have more than two functions that is product of more than two functions that is say u v w so we have the formula don't worry even more than three also we can find out the derivatives using logarithmic differentiation but here let us confine to the u v w formula so let us recall u v w formula so d by dx of u v w so this equal to u v d w by d x plus v w d u by d x plus u w d v by d x it's very simple just substituting the respective functions that's all and their derivatives have to be evaluated so f dash x is equal to first u v x into e power x into derivative of sin x plus now x into sin x d by dx of e power x plus next you expect it x sin x yes you are correct x sin x d by dx of e power x this is a step you will get it even now you can solve it but moreover let us try this equals to x e power x into derivative of sin x is cos x plus x sin x derivative of e power x is e power x plus x sin x into derivative of e power x is e power x just look for common in the three terms first term second term third term what shall we take out common yes you are correct e power x can be taken common out so taking e power x or x also we can take out common so here we have forgotten x derivative here yes not x sin x already we have done this is x sin x x sin x e power x e power x into sin x into x we'll get it so that means e power x sin x into 1 okay now 
look for common that is e power x common we get x cos x plus x sin x plus sin x this is the right answer.